Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack, and this Chefy Whack episode is obviously featuring our favorite Australian hero, Junkrat. But in case you guys don't know, Australia is under wildfires at this current moment. So I just want to use my platform just to raise awareness and possibly bring some donations to help stop the wildfires. In the description of this video, there will be links to Wild Wildlife Warriors and WWF Australia to help save civilization, wildlife which consists of kangaroos and koalas. If you want to make a small donation, you can. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies or charities. I just want to bring a little bit of awareness and hopefully make a difference in the world. So anyway, on to the video. My boys, we're finally doing something I at least have a little bit of expertise in for today's episode. Today we're going to be making everyone's favorite burger from Junkertown, the Junkertown Loaded Burger. Don't know what it's loaded with. I can take one guess though. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny that we're making a burger, what is traditionally known as one of the most unhealthiest foods of all time. So you think it would belong to Rodon? Nah, he actually has some of the more healthier options. <laughs> Rodon's taking this 2020 diet serious. Nah, we're giving it to the skinny hero, Junkrat. Oh, we need to wash this burger down with something that isn't the loaded substance. So I decided to go with the Junkrat Boba Away. <laughs> Why does Chuck right have boba tea? I mean, I'm not complaining. I get my favorite food and I get E-Girl's favorite drink, boba tea. <laughs> am I wrong or am I wrong, E-Girl? So, let's get started. <laughs> That actually kind of hurt, bro. <laughs> Let's make this burger. So we're not just going to be making regular burgies, but we're going to be making mini burgies. I figure these can be for Junkrat, and then uh, we can save one for Rodon, because you know, he's trying to lose his thickness, which is okay. Two of the things that I don't understand is the beets and the pineapple. Pineapple on burgies? And this time, it actually called for ground beef. My sushi, no, 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 no. It didn't call for ground beef. Ah, oh, crap. We also gotta cut things. Shouts out to old episodes, because I didn't even need to pay for this garlic. Let's get a clove of garlic. Just cut it already. Go again. Go again. Go again. Go again. Go again. This is actually kind of working. Garlic can't expire, can it? Because this is kind of looking a little yellow. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. But now it's time to get the ground beef in there. We put her in there. We need the chili flakes, which by the way, Australia, these are chili flakes. These are pepper flake crushed red pe I don't even know, but they're not chili flakes. I like my food a little bit spicy, so we're going to add a little extra to it just because we want to hate ourselves in the morning. So now that we have our spicy regret, we're going to add our current regret in the form of garlic. <laughs> Freaking junk rat recipe, more like a May hamburger recipe, am I right, boys? Damn, bro, you got the whole squad laughing. It's not like I can even warm this up because then I just start cooking. How are you supposed to combine stuff into beef? Like, are you supposed to knead it? That just seems so wrong. Meat is supposed to be beef. Anyway, I don't think this is helping, but it, it, it satisfies me. We're gonna cut a mini one right here. All right, so there's Roadhog's mini patty. It's honestly so cute. Forgot, I gotta make them into freaking patties. So we're just gonna beat my meat some more. Is there a technique? Technique? Te well, you don't drop it on the ground. That's for starters. Bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. Then we need the secret ingredient to every Overwatch recipe. Salt, like literally every recipe calls for salt. It's Perfect. So we're just gonna get some in our hand and dump it all in. I forgot to start the baking. Luckily, I have leftover bacon, specifically hardwood bacon. Anyway, in a frying pan. Okay, here we go, boys. Here's where I die. Let's get a little nice POV shot of this. <laughs> Gotta stop. Let's get our trusty SpongeBob spatula. I think it's time we get these bad boys into that bad boy. Holy crap, this thing is huge, and we're gonna just. Okay, 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 you can stop yelling. Okay, start, start, please. Hi, how you doing? Are you doing all right? I'm not doing all right. They're yelling. I just hate when food yells at me because why is food making noise? It's not supposed to make noise. So now let's flip these thick boys over because honestly these things, oh my God. Let's flip these thick boys over. So my burger's yelling at me, my bacon's crying of bacon grease. Everything's going to plan. Why is it bleeding? Why are you bleeding? Okay, here's, okay, uh, okay. 
Come on, get on the, get on the spatchy spatch! We're still cooking bacon over here, by the way. And then it says that we gotta top it with cheese, which I have leftover cheese that expires in about eight days. Let's go! You with a slice of cheese. You with a slice of cheese. And then you with a mini slice of cheese. That's so cute. Look at these little blankets of cholesterol. Look at all that fat. And then we'll just put it in our trusty little Starbucks cup. Now it's time to get even more fatty with some butter, boy. So I invested more in a pineapple can opener. How do I do this? Ah, uh, like this? Oh, that's the beets anyway. Oh, I don't need the beets yet. Okay, let's retry this with actual pineapples. I think I broke it. Yep, I definitely broke it. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. There we go. Yeah! Come on, just come out of the hole, please. Oh my god, I got one out. Let's go, boy. Now it's time to sear these bad boys. How do I sear this? I just don't... Uh, chakra! Uh, my hand's all sticky. Not because I was beating my meat. Let's come back here for one more intermission because now we gotta cut the onion. Alright, so... Come on! I don't even like onion. My neighbors are probably thinking, what the heck is going on in there? I think that's the best that we're gonna get. <laughs> I don't know how much we need, so let's just get all of it in there. Oh crap, they needed to be rings. I mean, rings, strips, it don't matter. Oh my god, I'm burning the rings or the strips. And now we need the two eggs. So I don't know when my camera died, but I started frying eggs. We got pineapple, we got bacon, we got onion rings. They're more like onion tendies, but you know what, it's fine. Yeah, that, lo that looks like a fried egg. I mean, that looks like an egg that is fried. Don't know if I would call it a fried egg. But since we're being held conscious for Roadhog, we're gonna separate the yolk. Oh my god, that's everything. Thing that I have to fry. Thank God. That was an episode and a half. My kitchen's a mess. I'm not even halfway through. I forgot. I gotta get tomatoes too. And, oh, it just doesn't end. There's always a vegetable there, a bacon there. Or here's your tomato, junk rat. I don't even like tomatoes. There we go. Those are perfect tomatoes. Oh my God. I also forgot. We need a head of lettuce. It just doesn't end. I don't know if you're supposed to cut this, but I'm gonna cut this. There we go. Just dig for a piece of lettuce. You know what I call lettuce? I just call lettuce crunchy water. It doesn't do anything but provide you hydration in a solid form. Okay, so we're gonna have two big boy buns and then one little boy bun for Roadha. Okay, then we add a bit of lettuce or crunchy water and then we add our tomatoes, then beets and pineapple, but it is St. Dr. Dre's recipe. It's my recipe. So we don't have any beets here. Wait. What the heck? It doesn't even say to add the onion <laughs> in the fourth step. It just completely disregards the onion. These look disgusting, so I'm not gonna add them if it doesn't tell me to. But it does say to add the burger, <laughs> then the bacon, and then last but not least, well, second to last technically, we have our fried egg. And then let's top these boys off. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this looks actually somewhat edible. The burger is just protruding out from it compared to the other ingredients. But we need to make the boba. Oh my god, I gotta make tea. I completely forgot. I thought it would be cute and have some boba, but then after that whole episode, I thought I was done. It's never done here. So we're gonna let this boil in the meantime. I have to go get some boba pearls. Now, nowhere in Arizona is it hip enough to just buy boba pearls. So I gotta go to a boba tea restaurant or cafe or whatever they call it and just get boba pearls. Like, I spent six dollars on this. I'm just gonna kind of just scoop these out. Oh, they feel like slimy Orbeez. Oh, how I love me some honey. Mix this together. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but again, the main attraction here is not the boba tea. Oh, I get it. It's called Boba's Away because it's like bombs away. That's still stupid. And then it calls for a black tea. Every tea calls for a sonic heat sensitive mug. Like watch this, this is so cute. Isn't that so cool? It changes color based on the heat. You guys don't ever get to see this, but you want to see a magic trick? <laughs> Cooking's hard, it's much more than just eating. The hot gamer boys and heat girls everywhere, we have our Junker Town Burger. Oh my God, these look so cool. I guess we're just gonna go for this one. Holy crap, all the juices, you can, you can see the juice is still dripping. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm crying. This is good, but this thing is loaded. So take 
continue from layer to layer, we have the bun, the lettuce, the tomato, the... I'm still chewing. The pineapple, the burger, the cheese, the bacon, the egg, and the bun all in one bite. And you gotta throw your whole neck into this. My God, let's try it one more time. <clears throat> oh my God. I can't lie. This is one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. <laughs> like you have the cold palate cleanser to clean your mouth from the last bite, but then you have the burger with the oh so sexy cheese, but then you have this very spicy aftertaste from the chili flakes. Let's try making our boba now. This was in the freezer because I couldn't be helped to put it in the fridge. I'm just gonna kind of grab the boba. Oh my God, the burger. Now, I don't know if boba's supposed to be warm or hot, but this is still a little bit steamy, so we're gonna have some warm boba. Oh, uh, well, okay, you know what? Just, just pour it like this, and I just clean this surface area. I don't know how much condensed milk I'm supposed to add. Gonna stir this up real quick. Oh my god, that actually looks like boba tea, bro! Alright, then we have our very warm boba tea. Let's try this out. I'm scared. I, uh, mm -hmm. Eagles, you might be onto something. This is actually pretty good. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to eat the balls, but I ain't gay. I'm, I'm spilling. Well, here's the health conscious mini Roadhog Junker Town Burger. Mmm. Okay. Oh, that was a lot more doable of a bite. Honestly, guys, I knew it. This was a success. That was my Junkrat Junkertown Burger and Boba Tea. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. And I'll see you guys in another episode. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. My hands are so sticky from the honey. <laughs> and bye.